Hello there you lovely learner cons, my name is Matthew and today we're going to be learning about venomous snakes. Specifically, I'm going to give you a list of the five most venomous snakes in the entire world. When I was a child, I actually used to be very scared of snakes. I remember this one time at school, I was doing like a cross country marathon and as I was getting to the home stretch, I was in like 15th place. And if you've ever done any kind of marathon, you know how tiring it can be. I've been racing for kilometers and kilometers, I was getting so tired, getting so slow, we were so close to the finish line and then my attention was grabbed by seeing something out of the corner of my eye and hearing a sound like a rustling in the grass and then suddenly this big snake slithers out just near my feet and I have never run faster in my entire life. <laughs> I went from 15th place to 9th. Everyone's like running along, being like, oh, we can get to the finish line, we can do it. And then suddenly, <laughs> comes me bolting past everyone. <sighs> snake! But I got to the finish line, I didn't get bitten by the snake, and I'm alive to this day. Survived that horrific ordeal. So before we start this list, I want to teach you guys one thing that you may or may not have known. We're talking about venom, not poison. So I often hear people talk about snakes or spiders and say how poisonous they are. They're actually not poisonous, they're venomous, and there is an important difference. A poison has to be ingested, so eaten or absorbed through the skin. Venom has to be injected directly into your bloodstream or muscles. So they are actually defined as two very different things. Just keep that in mind next time you're talking about poisonous or venomous animals. Let's get straight into the list. Number five, the black mamba. To throw you for a curveball straight away, the black mamba isn't actually black. They're usually brown with a light belly. I know, right? How do we deal with this plot twist? Well, the black mamba gets its name from the inside of its mouth which actually is black. They're quite a large snakes. Some of the largest of them have reached 14 feet, or that's four and a half meters. That's like two and a bit times my height. They're also super quick being able to move at 20 kilometers an hour or 12 and a half miles per hour. So at those speeds, yes, that does mean they could outrun humans. It's pretty unlikely you'll ever come across one of these because they live south of the Sahara in Africa. But if you happen to, just remember they are super aggressive and they are very, very accurate with their bites. Speaking of which, one bite from the black mamba has enough venom to kill 25 adult humans. The black mamba's speed, aggressiveness, and venom potency has labeled it the deadliest snake on the planet. That being said, we're not talking about deadliest, we're talking about the most venomous. So moving on to number four, the taipan. The taipan is a snake from Australia. Oh no, I'm a human from Australia. It's not as big as the black mamba, averaging around 6.6 .6 feet or 2 meters. They are, however, quite aggressive as well, especially if they're trapped or they're cornered, they are very, very quick to defend themselves. Taipans range in color. Some can be dark brown or olive, ranging to dark gray or even black. These dark colors can help camouflage the snake and make it harder to be seen while it's sneaking up on its prey. Their bite is very powerful, and before an antivenom was produced, there were no known survivors from a taipan bite. Even after the development of the anti-venom, people who've been bitten by them have required a lengthy stay in intensive care in hospital, some people even staying in there for weeks. Number three, the blue crate. The blue crate is found on the Indian subcontinent and is even smaller than the taipan, having an average length of five foot nine or 1.75 meters. I'm not sure who's naming these snakes because the blue crate isn't actually blue. Come on, the black mamba isn't black, the blue crate isn't blue. Well, usually they have a white or white-ish body with black bands or stripes on them. Sometimes they have yellow in the mix there as well. They're generally quite slow during the day because they're active and hunt for their prey during the night. This means they are much more aggressive during the night time. The blue crate is responsible for the most snake bites on people in India. There has only been one known survivor of a bite from a blue crate, and that is a man named Bill Hast. Bill was a snake researcher and handler who had spent a lot of his life injecting himself with various snake venom in order to try to build up an immunity. This could have had a hand in him surviving the very serious and very deadly bite. Number two, the Eastern Brown Snake. Oh look, what a surprise, another deadly creature from my home country of Australia. The Eastern Brown Snake isn't found just in Australia, it's also found in Papua New Guinea and Indonesia. It averages at around 6.6 .6 feet or two meters. These snakes will bite if they feel threatened, however, typically they prefer to flee if they're confronted. They seem to be very attracted to farms and it's thought that this is because of all of the rodents and general prey type creatures that would be around those farms. Also because there's plenty of, you know, rubbish, metal, debris, etc. around a farm. The fact that they are so present on farms helps to amplify their interactions with humans. It's likely that this helps make them responsible for 60% of snake bite deaths in Australia. Their activity is pretty much the exact opposite of the previous snake, the blue crate, because these guys are active during the day. 
so the eastern brown snake takes its place as the second most venomous snake on the planet. Number one combined, inland taipan and the belcher's sea snake. Yep, this is a combined number one between two snakes. Firstly, let's talk about the inland taipan. This is a subspecies of one of the previous snakes we mentioned, the taipan. Despite being the most venomous snake, there have been no recorded deaths due to its bite. This is probably because they're very rarely seen by people because they live in very remote areas of Australia. And for some reason, I'm not at all surprised that the most venomous snake in the world lives in Australia. So the inland taipan averages at about 5 foot 9 or 1.8 meters. But some have been measured as large as 2.5 meters or 8.2 feet. One super cool thing about inland taipans is they actually can change their skin color based on the seasonal conditions. For example, during summer, they'll shift to lighter tones because this helps keep them cool. And during winter, they'll shift to darker tones because they can absorb more sunlight and therefore more heat. So now, the Belcher's Sea Snake. Technically, it is more venomous than the inland taipan. However, that's only the case when the venom is injected directly into a muscle and not into the bloodstream, which is called intramuscular injection as opposed to intravenous injection. This has led to a lot of debate about which is actually the most venomous snake in the world. At any rate, the Belcher's Sea Snake is quite a lot smaller than all the other snakes that we've listed. Generally, you'll find them around 20 to 40 inches long, or about half a meter to a meter. As they are an underwater snake, their tail kind of looks like a paddle, which helps them swim along super fast. Because of its competency underwater, it rarely goes on land, and it happily preys on underwater creatures. So, that's been the list. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Also, as always, feel free to leave a comment telling us what you'd like to learn about next. It's always awesome to hear your suggestions, and this video, in fact, was requested by one of you. As always, it's been great talking to you, and I will see you next time.